everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Friday, July the 3rd, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle major track report. Let's go to Belmont Park first, 4.12 p.m. Eastern Post Time for race 7. Eight and a half furlong route test on the turf, three year olds and up, race for a claiming purse of $21,000. Then there's number 6, Optimer, number 9, Western Deed, number 7, Greg Got Even, and number 10, Personal Good. Number three, Optimer, an Argentinian bred entry, takes a big class drop of 20 units this afternoon, has turned in power runs in each of his last five starts, hitting the board in four of those adventures. Number nine, Western Deed, a five to one shot, has produced a pair of power runs in his last three. We also note that his trainer, Dom Chetliana, was adding blinkers for the first time today. It's noticed on numerous occasions in the past, this subtle equipment change often produces noticeable speed boosts in their first applications. Race 7 summary, number 6, Optimer tops my contenders list, which also includes number 9, Western Deed, number 7, Greg Got Even, and number 10, Personal Good, 6, 9, 7, 10 in the 7th from Belmont Park. Go out to Churchill Downs in Kentucky next for their 7th race on the card, 5.52 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 5.5 furlong sprint on the dirt track, Phillies and mares, three years old and up, racing for a claiming purse of $24,000. Contenders number two, Singing Rose. Number five, Liza Lou. Number six, Market at Midday. And no, number uh, four, Genethy. Number two, Singing Rose, qualifies as a Trackmaster plus Power Pony. He's both a speed and pace profile leader in this claiming field, sprinting at her about today's distance of five and a half for lunch on the dirt, has hit the board in five straight, winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Robbie Alvarado and trainer Jerry Smith Jr. send her to the post this afternoon. They've hit the board with 56% of their entry saddles, 18 to date. Number five, Liza Liu, comes off a par on place finish in her last start, a race which was contested at today's Trackmaster Plus class level of 92. Race 7 summary, number 2, Singing Rose tops the contenders list, which also includes number 5, Eliza Lou, number 6, Market at Midday, and number 4, Genefee. That's 2564 in the 7th today from Churchill Downs. Finally, we go out west to Southern California's Hollywood Park for their Race 7 feature, 9.56 p.m. Pacific Post Time. This is the Flawlessly Stakes. It's a mild test on the turf track. Three-year-old fillies race for a stakes purse of $100,000. Contenders number four, Strawberry Tart. Number 10, Starlarks. Number 11, Eloquently. And number three, Jehan. Number four, Strawberry Tart, a four-to-one shot. It's produced a trio of power run results in his last five outings, with two of those wins also qualifying as power runs. Jockey Martin Garcia was in her irons for that win 27 days ago here at Hollywood Park, which produced more than a 1,000% return on investment in the process. Garcia is back today for a second ride, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number 10, Starlarks, an Irish bred entry, 5-1 to in the morning line, is hit the board in power run fashion each of his last three, including a power run win in her last outing. Jockey Alex Solis, and trainer Pat Gallagher sent her to the post today. They've hit the board with 51% of more than 150 entries settled as a team to date. Race 7 summary, number 4, Strawberry Tart, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 10, Starlocks, number 11, Eloquently, and number 3, Jehan, 4, 10, 11, 3 in the 7th from Hollywood Park, the $100,000 flawlessly stakes. A couple of bonus long shots for you as usual, folks. Let's go to Colonial Downs in Virginia first. Race two, the nine to two shot. Number five, Miss Bertola, the overall speed leader in this maiden field, racing at today's distance of a mile on the grass. And the race at Venerable Philadelphia Park in Ben Salem, PA today as well. Race three, number six, Rock and Frankie, nine to two in the morning line. It's nice early and overall speed for this sprint at six furlongs on the dirt. So from Belmont Park, Churchill Downs and Hollywood Park on a Friday afternoon slash evening, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle Major Trap Report, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.